Mr. Rubani, Mr. Pilot, nakupenda sana. I am your support system no matter what and I love you mm-hmm. so 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 much. I just prayed about it. I stopped actively looking mm-hmm. for someone mm-hmm. and just trusted God to provide the right person my way. Mm-hmm. And that's when we came together with Cairo. Na pale Twitter wajua you are pigana vita. Hata kuzima. So uh Ah, the date he uh-huh. actually came and picked me from home. Uniambie nini ama nini? Ah, mimi niko sawa. Because you have a tattoo, you can't move on past life. Someone people are putting you down. Mm-hmm. Like- What's up guys? Welcome back. As you can see, we have the beautiful they call her the most loved girl right now in the 254. We have Sarah Imani. How are you doing? I'm doing good. You're looking amazing. Thank you so much. You also look happy as well. You thank look you. good in person actually. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can tell us what uh, we're doing here today. Uh so currently we are here to launch by Simo. Mm-hmm. By Simo is a financial company. Mm-hmm. Uh what it will be doing is assisting people who are not able to accumulate so much funds mm-hmm. to get Apple products, mm-hmm. not only phones, yeah. but also MacBooks, mm-hmm. smartwatches, AirPods, mm-hmm. anything Apple related. Mm-hmm. You'll be able to get uh financed mm-hmm. to be able to purchase it and uh what will be requiring it's a 3 month statement mm-hmm. from your Mpesa or bank account and then you'll shall provide your 40% payment and also ID or passport mm-hmm. yes and maybe sorry you can tell us uh, mm-hmm. maybe do you remember the first time mm-hmm. you got your own phone Yeah yeah I uh-huh. remember it was during elections mm-hmm. I worked as a clerk number uh-huh. one, and nika pocket hizo pesa mm-hmm. and I was able to get myself a Techno L9 nilikuwa uh-huh. takasi mkubwa that time uh-huh. yeah and I really enjoyed this so uh, the 2007 elections Hey, I I am young. I'm just 25 not uh-huh. 2007 okay ile mwisho ilikuwa 20 27 Okay, we had the 2022 then the previous one was Yeah, the previous 2017. Okay. 2017, 2017. Yes. That was the first time you owned a phone. Yes. Uh the first time I owned was a phone bought by my dad, uh-huh. Samsung Tizen. Mm-hmm. It actually didn't uh go mm-hmm. so further because mm-hmm. it had its own application. Uh-huh. Yeah. That was the first. Uh uh-huh. um, maybe how can people maybe get uh these services the ones watching us? Uh apparently the, if you want to get uh a phone mm-hmm. an apple product yeah. you don't need to go to a particular merchant yeah. any merchant just go ask them mm-hmm. if they have a buy simu form and you'll be able to get a form fill it and if you're qualified according to your finances mm-hmm. and uh, also your document presentation mm-hmm. then you'll be able to get uh, an apple product of your choice mm-hmm. and also a little hack mm-hmm. the rest you will watch it in my instagram stories because i'll be working with buy simu mm-hmm. and i'll let you know why you should get from buy simu mm-hmm. is because uh, perhaps you got an iPhone 15 Pro Max yeah. and you are not able to pay it ama kidogo mfuko imeleta tashwishi you can go back and you can be able to downgrade so by simu doesn't limit you yeah. it gives you options and free will uh-huh. yes ah talking about phones by the unajua in Nairobi imefunza watu tunasemanga ni nini so what's the worst experience you've had with your phone unajua in Nairobi watu wameibiwa ni nini what's your worst experience with phone umepoteza simu in Nairobi nimekachonjo eh mimi tembea Raka town but uh, back in Nakuru i think i used to be ignorant ningetembea na simu mkononi and someone just alichukua kutoka kwa mkono very softly and apparently I thought it was a friend of mine who was taking a phone only kupatana na sura imekauka uh-huh. yeah mm-hmm. so that was my experience <laughs> he just took my phone and walked mm-hmm. yes <laughs> did, did you do anything about it uh, alinyonyesha kisu akaniambia oh. tanidunga so unanyamaza at that moment it's oh. you on the phone <laughs> was it a phone you bought for, uh, by yourself ama ilikuwa yes it was very painful how much was it it was 13000 What? And that was a lot of money because I, I was just fresh from school. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> no kuonyesha character development. Mbaya. Uh-huh. Hadi <laughs> unuonyesha <laughs> kisu maybe what did that whole experience uh, uh did it affect in any way? I I think it just taught me to be more cautious, mm-hmm. not to be ignorant. Ata bado ku as much as it's safe, mm-hmm. I still look after my things so I'm more careful with my yeah. things. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the only incident. Yeah, no no. Ever yes, that's the only incident. Uh-huh. Yeah. The rest ni miu kachonjo. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. All right, I know for much we see much ngoje pale iko kwenye Insta stories. Yes. Yes, please uh, stay updated with my reels. I shall take you one on one and educate you more in a layman's la- language on why bus by Yes. yes. I know we have a lot of people who are wondering. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
So yeah, two love birds uh-huh. every time and then. Apparently, we are all business people. Yeah. I have mine running, as you can say, currently by Sim with someone I'm working with, uh-huh. and this is work for me. Mm-hmm. He also has his work going on mm-hmm. currently. Yeah. Uh, he's about to be checked out mm-hmm. uh, in his plane, which I'm proud of him very much wherever wow. he is. Wow. So yeah, sometimes he needs to do his thing. I need to do my thing. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the conversation that has been on live, mm-hmm. uh, the like few couple of days. Um, ni Jamani, Sarah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Watu Sabu, tu tu kweli mapenzi mtesa tu kuinge. You kweli? Aha. Yes. Siri ni kani? Uh, I think just pray about it. I, I just prayed about it. I stopped actively looking mm. for someone mm-hmm. and just trusted God to provide the right person my way. Mm-hmm. And that's when we came together with Cairo. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's a very Christian town relationship. Uh-huh. And that's why we're able to overcome a lot of things that are our way. Uh-huh. So see, don't just look pretty. Uh-huh. Pray also. Uh-huh. Yeah. He recently mentioned that uh, the first time he approached you, mm-hmm. you were like, I'm not sure. I am not sure. <laughs> that this ain't the person, you know? Uh-huh. Uh, apparently, uh, it's human nature to judge people mm-hmm. so much uh, from sight, mm-hmm. from their online pages. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I need him judge. I am guilty for that. Which... <laughs> what terms will him judge Kiaje financially, uh, the way he looks? No, no, it's not financially how you look. Mm-hmm. That's not the prime aspect mm-hmm. for me. For mm-hmm. me, it's how you speak, your personality and all. Now, pale Twitter, when you are your people, and a vita. <laughs> so uh, I find it qu- quite oh, mm-hmm. not my thing. Mm-hmm. That's why I was a bit hesitant. Uh-huh. Uh, but he he's a very persistent person. Okay. And uh, yeah, mm-hmm. I, I decided let me let me give it a uh-huh. chance. Uh-huh. Let me see if it's for me. Let uh-huh. me go on out, out on that date. Yeah. And it was a lovely date. Uh-huh. It was a very long, lovely date. Please tell us a little about that first date. Ah, the date, he uh-huh. actually came and picked me from home. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, we did a drive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did a drive where we had conversation, a very scenic route, and then we ended up having uh, dinner. Uh-huh. Me Simba, it's called Simba around Carnival. Wow. Yeah, and uh, we shared a meal together, mm-hmm. and we enjoyed these very African songs. He loves them. Mm-hmm. And so it was like, he's a sign, it's a sign. So we enjoyed the songs, mm-hmm. we really uh, got to talk to each other. And when I talked to him, he was actually somebody very different. Yeah. Actually, when people meet him in person, they're mm-hmm. like, he's quite calm, he's quite collected, he's a very respectable yes, person. Yes. Yeah. yes. Maybe, Sarah, you can tell us, mm-hmm. at what point were you convinced mm-hmm. that Cairo is not the person you thought he was? The first time we just met with each other, mm-hmm. how polite he was, mm-hmm. how gentleman he was, mm-hmm. the conversations we had, I won't mention it in detail, but according to the conversations we had, mm-hmm. one-on-one, I was able to determine who he is as a person. Mm-hmm. Yes. A couple of times we've had ladies uh, mention that um, since they were giving, quote-unquote, giving it a try, mm-hmm. they had to set up rules mm-hmm. for a relationship. Mm-hmm. Are there rules that maybe you on your side, as Shara, set up? Uh, for this relationship, uh, What I can say is always have boundaries anywhere we go, mm-hmm. not only relationship, work-wise and all, mm-hmm. it just al- avoids a lot, mm-hmm. and also communicate what you want. Mm-hmm. And uh, once you set boundaries and communicate what you want, mm-hmm. you're able to know is this if the other person can't be able to get to respect your boundaries uh-huh. and all, then you know it's not going to work because mm-hmm. it's going to defy you mm-hmm. or defy the other person. Mm-hmm. Yes. And many uh, single ladies tend to ask this question. Mm-hmm. How did you know Cairo was the one? Prayers. You pray. What? Yes. Me, no. <laughs> wow. Thank you for mentioning that. No, you mentioned prayers. Yeah. And we always have d- this debate online. Mm-hmm. So, okay, I've prayed. Is it my dream? <laughs> you know, I've seen people. I've seen people even making names. It's a bit of a good thing. I know we joke a lot, uh-huh. but one thing I can say is uh, we tend to focus on the carnally aspect of prayers, mm-hmm. and we should ask God to give us spiritual prayers, mm-hmm. spiritual eyes mm-hmm. and prayers. Mm-hmm. So when you pray in the spirit, He reveals in the spirit, yeah. and you get to understand. Na kina chotoka kwa mungu, haina mabishano or uncertainty. Mm-hmm. So once you pray, pray in the spirituality, yeah. God is able to define yes. things very uh-huh. openly. But if you pray carnally, pale shetani kidogo atachanganya hizo dreams zako na maombi. Yes. 
And talking about limelight, so far mm -hmm. umeingia all of a sudden, mm -hmm. everything is everywhere. Mm -hmm. How is it so far? How unahando laje you are lovers, people mm -hmm. who love you, and also haters at the same time? Um, apparently, this is not like the first time I've been in the limelight. Yes, yes. I just had my crowd of people uh -huh. at the moment. What to live with? And you know, Instagram yes, people yes, are very yes. subtle and yes. TikTok to a point. Yeah, yeah. So coming to this other level of um, limelight mm -hmm. with Cairo, uh, what I just do about it is I love and appreciate those who love me. Actually, people who comment positively to me, they will tell you I respond mm -hmm. and I thank them a lot. Yeah. Those who cheer on and check up on, no matter which stranger it is, mm -hmm. yeah. and all. And if you're a hater, just block you. Simple mm -hmm. as that. Hey, uh -huh. hater, acha. Just because you hate uh -huh. me, it doesn't uh -huh. change the status quo in my life uh -huh. or your life. So uh -huh. we learn to move past it and ignore. Okay. Yeah. Talking about social media, somebody would ask, since you have a limelight, what's the worst rumor you've heard about yourself? And you're like, is this the same person? Apparently, everything that's been posted online. Rumors. Zote. Yes. But what can I do? Your opinion of my life doesn't define who I am. Yes. Yeah, so I live like that. Your opinion is your opinion. Mm -hmm. Who I am is who I am. Yes. And it won't change. No matter what name you call me or yes. assume about me, yes. it doesn't change who I am. Uh -huh. I'll continue being me. Now, but it's Oh, wow. And maybe, Sarah, I don't know whether this has actually, at some point, got, uh, got a toll on, on you emotionally and things like that, and how are you handling it? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, the best way, like, you... Uh, for lack of a better word, vent out. Because sometimes what you it's normal yeah. at online. Mm -hmm. Is it crying? Maybe talking to someone? How are you handling it? Uh, apparently, uh, cyberbullying has been there, always will be there, and it won't stop right now. Yeah. I can't say it's by my might or strength yeah. that I've been able to ignore all of this or be okay. Because people check up now, wakipata I'm okay, they're like, are you really okay? Yeah. People are more concerned than I am. Yeah. But what I can say is when you pray to God and mm -hmm. ask for peace that surpasses human understanding, Understanding, mm -hmm. you are able to bypass. Utapata easy vitu hazikusubwe. And for me, as long as my family is okay, they support me. They know who I am. My person know who's I am, who I am, and they support me. For the rest, ato uniambi ni ni amani ni. Ah, min kosa wa. Maybe we can talk about mm -hmm. um, men, mm -hmm. because uh, over the couple, a few couple of uh, weeks or mm -hmm. days. Mm -hmm. People have been like, no, Cairo is overdoing it. <laughs> but ladies on the other side are like, please, if you're in a position to show love, just show love. Yeah. What would you tell men? Because it seems like probably we have men out here who are very hurt. Mm -hmm. Like Ikefika ni point ya show love, it's a big deal, a very, very big deal. Well, I can say a lot of us conform to society. And that's where we fail, both male and female. Mm -hmm. So one rule I live by, don't conform to society because of what they say. Mm -hmm. Be who you are. Don't stop loving. I tell me one thing, ni mekwana exes, I've been hurting my relationships, yeah. but see what I want, I will reflect mm -hmm. your pains to the next person and to the next person. Mm -hmm. Everyone would be miserable. Yeah. So learn to not bring you Mauchunguzakos are passed mm -hmm. to your current relationship yes. mm -hmm. and don't conform to society. Society will always have something to say, yeah. will always have opinions, mm -hmm. and I call opinions inner wears. You choose yes. to wear or not to wear, yes. and I do not wear those inner wears. Mm -hmm. That's society. Uh -huh. yeah. But then you've talked about the past, you know, uh, we've mm -hmm. seen a lot has been said on the internet. Mm -hmm. Has it affected your brand? You know, people came up with stories, nanini nini. Has it affected your brand, and what do you have to say about that? Apparently, it's not affected my brand because serious people. Uh, don't focus on such things. They know rumors are rumors yeah. and said apparently it's actually put me in a lot of people's eyes. Mm -hmm. More brands have reached out and oh, keep wow. on being blessed. So yeah. you coming at me doesn't mean it's going to detract yes. from my end. It's yeah. actually an add-on. Mm -hmm. okay. So but these are just haters. Maybe we're trying to tarnish your name and work if Kira maybe uta grow amani nini. This is one thing I always say. Uh, for someone who's a hater, mm -hmm. it's definitely someone who's not at your par or above you. Mm -hmm. So what happens? They are too bitter to move on mm -hmm. or to put effort. Mm -hmm. So the only way one will say, at a benefit, nini aki hate ni ni destroyed. Mm -hmm. 
because they'll feel sasa umerudi level yao. Yeah. Na nasema ni the same way. Stima ikipotea. Si unanga kuchungulia kwa jirani mm-hmm. ndio uone usikie vizuri. Yeah, yeah. Kwa chemistry juu hiyo ndio watu walikuwa wanagonga E na D. Ukiona yeah. jirani wako pia amepata E, yeah. sasa mna feel mko pamoja. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing. So yeah. once they put you down, ah wana feel sasa mm-hmm. tuko kimoja yes. and all. Which shouldn't be the case. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Maybe as you end up because of time, um, mm-hmm. one last question. Jamani, mm-hmm. uh, you are ready it was my best friend's wedding. Ah, uh, con- yeah. Congratulations to you, Virginia. God keep on blessing your marriage. Yes. And uh, Cairo was, because we have mutual friends, mm. was also part of the groomsmen. And it was lovely to see love thrive. Mm-hmm. And at least it gives us motivation to, yeah. to see where we'll be uh-huh. in a few months. Mm. Yes. In a few months. Uh, yes. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yes. So it's in a few months. Few months, few years, according to God's plan wow. into our lives. Okay. Yes. But there, right now, you have a lot of fan base. Sasa, what should they, what should they expect, Sasa, from you? What sh- they should expect is more brand partnership, mm-hmm. more motivation. Mm-hmm. Uh, God willing, I'll mm-hmm. be able to work uh, with people from uh, probably mm-hmm. in the industry that mm-hmm. look after women, yes. uh, women who are put down and all. Mm-hmm. I'd like them to know they can have someone they can talk to and someone who can motivate them and mm-hmm. someone who's been through this, yeah. someone you feel like, because you have a tattoo, you can't move on past life, someone people are putting you down, mm-hmm. like you should know you can't get past that yeah. and that doesn't define who you are. Okay. Yes. Okay. I love you, Mr. Rubani, Mr. Pilot. Nakupenda sana. And uh, today, I know you're going to get your checkout. And I'm so, so proud of you for the journey that you've partaken. And just know I'm always holding your hand. Mm-hmm. I am your support system, no matter what. And I love you mm-hmm. so, so, so much. Wow. Thank you so, thank you so much. We really welcome. appreciate it. Uh, thank you, too. Thank you. Yes.